Defender, Defender for All Mankind Outside North America is a shoot-'em-up video game developed in October 2002 for the PlayStation 2, and ported to the Nintendo GameCube and Xbox the following month. It is a remake of the 1981 game of the same name. Featuring three-dimensional graphics, the game is set on multiple planets and moons within our solar system where the player must defeat waves of invading aliens while protecting astronauts. A separate version of the game was released for the Game Boy Advance. Despite sharing a name, box art and a release date with the console versions, it is a different game. Gameplay The player picks up humans, who are in danger from aliens, and brings them to a drop zone for extraction. The enemy landers are attacking them, and will constantly try to pick them up for themselves. Once a human is stolen, the player has a short amount of time to blast the lander and catch the slowly falling human. If the player fails to free the human, they are absorbed into the lander and the lander is transformed into a much more difficult enemy. If the human hits the ground from falling they will die. The enemies are a handful of other alien craft, including some ground units that can turn humans into zombies. Development Reception IGN said the game was, "...pretty short, but it's also a fast, mostly mindless shooter." GameSpot stated that, if you like mission-based space combat simulations such as Wing Commander, and you don't mind the game's defensive focus, Defender does a mostly good job of walking the line between having modern gameplay depth and remaining somewhat faithful to the source material. <laughs> Game Boy Advance version A separate version of the game was released for the Game Boy Advance. It contains a faithful recreation of the 1981 Defender, and an updated version with digitized sprites and new game modes. <laughs>